Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In this video, I want to share five tips on using your Olympus OMD camera. Let's do this. I know some of you will be saying, hey Robin, you're no longer an Olympus ambassador. Why are you doing this? Here's an interesting fact. When I was an Olympus visionary, when I was technically involved with Olympus, they didn't ask me to do any videos or share any tips and tricks on using the Olympus OMD camera. I did this on my own throughout the years of me blogging. Yes, I do run a blog, robinwong.blogspot.com. I've shared plenty of tips on using Olympus cameras. And now on this YouTube channel, I continue to do so in video format. It was not in my agreement with Olympus when I was involved with them. And now after I've left the visionary program, I don't see any reason why I should change. I thought the community is here, I'm here, and I'll continue to share whatever that I can. Obviously, I don't have the Olympus OM one, so I can't share any tips on using the latest flagship camera from OM system. But here I have the Olympus EM1 Mark III, and I'm very familiar with any other Olympus cameras that came before this. So the tips and tricks that I'm sharing here are applicable to most Olympus cameras. The, the settings, the placement of the menu might be a little bit different, but you should be able to find them quite easily. Tip number one, quickly disable the EVF automatic switch. I use the LCD and EVF automatic switch because I use both the EVF and LCD a lot for my shooting. It's just so much easier to leave it to automatic. I put the camera near my eye and automatically the EVF turns on. However, when the automatic switch is turned on, sometimes while you are using the LCD screen, if you accidentally put your finger near the sensor, while you are reviewing your photographs in playback or if you are shooting both photographs through the live view on the LCD screen or recording a video. If you put something near the sensor, it will automatically interrupt the LCD screen and switch over to the EVF. I think this is quite annoying. So one way to disable this, to solve this problem, if you have a camera with a swivel screen, just turn the screen out, flip it out. Once the screen is flipped out, the automatic switch between the EVF and LCD is disabled. It will remain on the LCD and whatever you put near the sensor, it will not detect, it will not interrupt your LCD operation. I think this is fantastic. A lot of people don't know this. If you have some Olympus cameras with a tilt up and down screen, all you have to do is just tilt out the screen a little bit then the auto switch of the EVF and LCD is also disabled. You have the LCD screen operating uninterrupted. I know some people ask, hey Robin, why don't you just manually turn on and off the LCD screen? I don't want to keep turning on and off, pressing that button every time I want to use the EVF or LCD screen. And I do this interchangeably a lot in my shooting. I just leave it to automatic. It's just so much easier that way. So when I want to disable it quickly, I just flip out the screen or tilt out the screen. I think this can be really convenient for people who have not used this technique before. Tip number two, quickly get to infinity focus by turning off and on the camera again. Once the camera is turned off, if you didn't change this default setting, the lens is reset to infinity focus. But before you do that, make sure that the focusing is on manual mode. So let's say now you're in manual focusing, you turn off the camera, the lens is reset to infinity focus. When you turn on the camera, the lens starts at infinity. You don't have to do anything, don't turn the manual focusing ring, you are already at infinity focus. I think this helps a lot of landscape photographers or even if you're doing astrophotography, you don't want to keep turning the ring, you don't know when to stop or, or where the infinity focus is. I think it saves a lot of trouble. Always have to do is just turn on and off the camera. In order for this lens reset to infinity to work, you have to ensure that the lens reset setting is on. To find the lens reset setting, press the menu button. Then from the menu button, go to the cogs or the gear icon. And from gear, go to A4. A for autofocus. So A4, you have the lens reset or reset lens. Make sure it's turned on. And once it is turned on, as you turn off the camera and turn it on again, the focus will automatically start at infinity. 
tip number three, there is a limitation to the exposure simulation on the Olympus OMD. The great thing about using a mirrorless cameras, such as shooting with Olympus Pen and OMD cameras, is what you see is what you get. You can adjust your exposure. You, if you're in manual mode, you can change the aperture and shutter speed settings or ISO, and you can see the simulation happen live. What you see is what you get. Even before you press the shutter button, you already know the final results. However, this exposure simulation has a limitation and the limitation is plus minus three exposure values, three EVs. But the exposure compensation of the camera, if you use aperture priority, program mode, or shutter speed priority, you can go up to plus or minus five EV. But the simulation that you see on the screen or EVF is capped and limited to only plus and minus three EV. So if you change the exposure drastically, over 3 EV, say minus 4 or minus 5 EV, it will not be simulated on screen, you will not be able to see it properly, and that can be a problem. What you capture and what you see on the simulation can be different. Just be aware of this limitation, there's nothing much you can do. It is probably a software limitation on the Olympus cameras. I don't know if they've broken this limitation in the new OM1, but even in this EM1 Mark III, the exposure simulation is still kept at plus minus three EV. Tip number four, when you are recording a video, please use the dedicated movie mode. On every mode dials in all Olympus cameras, there is a dedicated movie mode. When you turn on this movie mode, it will unlock all video features, the software of the camera will be optimized for video recording, you have less chance of encountering errors or bugs or sudden problems while you are shooting a video. A lot of people don't know about this movie mode. They assume that they can just hit the record button, the red button on the camera at any other modes that they are using, said aperture priority or manual mode. Or some even assume that when you're shooting in manual mode, the M mode, you have full control of the camera. The M mode on the mode dial on any Olympus cameras, that represents the manual mode for stills photography. That is not applicable to video mode mode. So if you want full control, you want the best possible shooting experience, you want to get the best out of your video recording on any Olympus cameras, please use the dedicated video, the movie mode on your mode dial. Then from there, you can find the manual mode. Tip number five is a continuation from tip number four. Knowing that there is a dedicated movie mode for video recording, this actually frees up the record button or the red button on your Olympus OMD cameras. If you are not recording a video using any other modes, a program, aperture parity, shutter speed parity, or even shooting in full manual for your stills photography, that red button, the record button, can be customized for other functions. And you realize that the record button is placed in a very strategic position in any Olympus cameras. It is within a very easy reach of your finger. You can customize the button to quickly change ISO, white balance, switch it from manual focus to autofocus, or change from JPEG to RAW. You can assign it to any functions that you desire. And I think this is really helpful because we really want to quickly get to the settings that we want to and want to customize the camera to work for us. Freeing one button at a very strategic position, I think it really helps. And don't worry, when you turn on the movie mode, this is the magic here. Once you switch to the dedicated movie mode, you, when you press the record button, it will still record a movie, the video, or it will start the video recording. You have to be in video mode for that to work. So whatever customization that you have done was only applicable for your stills photography in other modes other than the movie mode. The record button will record a video in movie mode. To customize the record button for other function, go to menu, under menu, go to the gear or the clock icon, then go to B, B for buttons, uh, B1, go to button function, inside button function, find the record button. Here, you can customize this to whatever function that you want. Say that I want to change the manual focus, you can use this MF here, or you want to change from JPEG to RAW, or any other modes that you desire.
that's all the tips I have to share about how to optimize or use your OMD cameras more effectively. Please let me know if you have any other tips to share, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal, links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution will go a long way, it will help me to continue making similar videos like this and publish them right here. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe, and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. And boy oh boy, I have a lot of interesting content lining up in the weeks to come. Until then, please remember to go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.